what's going on youtube this is marcus and i'm back to do another quick video just to come and talk to you about tonight's episode of mary mary so let's get into it okay so this video is not going to be a scene by scene type review i'm just going to talk about some certain things um if you want to see a scene by scene review then you can go check out my youtube cousin tasha c um she reviews this show also bondy blue um and some more love but one thing i want to say so the episode starts off with erica having a christian and um type event for wozy and zaya tina doesn't show up um, you know, Erica was kind of feeling some type of way because she felt like, you know, like I've been there for all your children's Christian and so why weren't you here for mine? You know, she called Tina, Tina didn't answer the phone. So I'm assuming that that's the next day when she goes to Tina's house and you know, Tina's outside or whatever. And Erica comes to her and was like, I'm upset with you. You wasn't my Christian. And, and Tina was basically like, are you serious? And so Erica was like, yeah, I'm serious. And so Tina was basically like, you know, with my husband, you know, turns out my husband is a pimp. He didn't just cheat on me with that woman. He didn't have multiple affairs. My thing is this. I mean, I understand you did going through what you're going through. But I feel like going to see your niece and your nephew get Christian and dedicated to God is much more important than whatever it is you're going through. Uh, one thing that I've noticed about Tina since this show has started and it's become more prevalent in this season that Tina is very self-absorbed. She's very... Uh, more so concerned about whatever it is that she's going through it's like her situation is just so much worse than everybody else's and it, you know the other people's situations kind of just sizzle in the background I feel like she feels I feel like she feels that the world revolves around her like everybody's like she's just the center of everybody's world and you know everybody's supposed to come to her rescue and be so concerned about her I mean like I said I'm not trying to be sound insensitive but it's like you know, I mean, she. I, I just feel like, you know, she's just so concerned about her situation and what she's going through. I thought about this, uh, I think it was the second or first, first or second episode when Google came and told them about how she broke up with Justin. And Tina managed to work her situation into that conversation. Last week when Elena was telling them about, you know, her problems with Dez, Tina worked her situation into that conversation. It's like... It, she always finds a way to bring up her bring her situation into the mix sometimes it don't even be having nothing to do with relationships but somehow she brings in talking about Teddy like girl there's more to your life going on than you know the stuff that's going on with you and Teddy and another thing I want to say is this cheating and adultery must be something that's genetic or prevalent in their family because Tina's going through what she's going through you, um, Erica and Warren dealt with you know that type of situation you know in the past and then if I'm not mistaken that's why their mom and daddy kept getting divorced because he was cheating on her so I'm just wondering like well what's the point of y'all people what's the point of getting married if y'all men gonna be cheating on y'all but anyway um let's just move on to the next subject okay one thing I want to say is this I feel like the, and before I get into this, let me just say I'm not trying to take up for Teddy or make it seem like what he did was not wrong. But I do feel like this show, I guess because it's more of her and Erica, you know, their platform, I feel like this show is making Teddy out to be the bad guy. I still, like I said, I still as of yet heard him kind of give his side to the story. You know, I feel like, let me just say this. I don't feel like Tina's really taken into consideration how her part played in this. A lot of people feel like, you know, that if somebody cheat on you, it's, you know, it, it's not your fault. Don't feel like it's your fault. But let me just say this. If, if a husband or a wife is truly doing everything that they, truly doing everything they can, you know, being the best wife or the best husband, they know how to be, in most cases, the other spouse is not going to cheat. And I feel like, you know, if this, you know, and in them other cases, if the spouse, if the, so that, with that being said, if the spouse does go out and cheat, I kind of feel like there's something that's lacking in the other spouse, something they weren't doing, you know, to make that other spouse feel happy. I kind of feel like, and I've noticed with Tina too, and even she said that, you know, she was very, very controlling, very unsubmissive I guess I can say and you know you can tell that just by her mouth and her attitude a lot all of the women in their family are like that you know when she started having children she 
was you know kind of putting Teddy on the back burner was paying more attention to him and I will say this that when you constantly denying your husband access to the cookie jar you know situations do present themselves you know where he can dig into somebody else's cookie jar and if he's not strong you know he'll fall into that trap and I kind of feel like that's what happened with them she was constantly denying him and I'm and like I said I'm not saying that that's an excuse for you to go out and cheat but what I'm saying is that you know if when your spouse goes out and cheat you have to take take into account what is it that I did or was it that I, what is it that I didn't do or what is it what is it that I could have done differently to prevent this from happening and that's why I'm saying it seemed like this show is all about putting all the blame on Teddy and she's not really taking responsibility for her part and that's why I don't really agree when I read the comments and stuff and hear people say that when your spouse cheat on you it's not your fault it's all their fault no both parties play a part in you know in the other person stepping out now like now at the same time and like I said Teddy is wrong for what he did I don't want so I don't want nobody coming for me in the comments talking about you know Teddy was still wrong yes he was absolutely wrong but at the same time it's not you can't really put everything on him he's responsible for his cheating but at the same time she's responsible for that whatever it is she did or didn't do that caused him to cheat So the Ebony um, article comes out this week, and so now Mitchell finally knows what what's going on with Tina. Let me just say that, like I've said before, I, I'm still confused as to how you go and tell the people at Ebony who you don't know, you telling them all your business about everything that's going on, but then you don't tell Mitchell who you do know, who's your manager, who's part of his job is damage control you don't tell him what's going on and you know he has to find that find out the way he found out I just thought that was really tacky and really unprofessional and it's like he's sitting here dumbfounded because he don't know why you constantly popping off and going off on him why you constantly you know not miss not coming to rehearsals and not calling him or not answering his calls when he comes back and you can tell that even it's like he's trying to make right and try to you know do, do things right to keep them from constantly complaining about what he don't do which is something that they tend to do on a regular basis because even at the end after they perform you know he was kind of hugging her and kissing her and, and like her attitude was kind of like get out my face I'm, let me tell you I like when I when, like when I go back and I watch these episodes and watch how they treat me I can understand why he was suing them hoes for 75 grand and we find out next week is when he gonna get fired as much as I'm not really featuring Tina this season one thing that I will say is I like the fact that in spite of whatever you know whatever this shit that she's going through with it when she gets on stage she always delivers and she's not so consumed about consumed with her problems that she allows it to hinder or affect her ministry you know because we always hear her talking about how she don't want to go on stage and you know she just want to leave and go home and run away yada 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 which we wish we all know that really ain't happening because she ain't trying to get sued and have to pay pay these people all this money I'm just saying but you know I do I love the fact that when she gets on stage and I think that's one of the biggest things especially when you a gospel singer or even if you just a worship leader at church is that when you kind of going through something you kind of have to put on this facade that my life is perfect I don't ever go through anything that you have to you know get when you and get in front of people you just have to pretend like everything is okay you know because if she had a really stabbed her husband their their ministry and their testimony as Mary Mary and being Christians and God friend women that that testimony would have been tainted if they had came out that she asked to did stab her husband you know she, come out in the news you know uh, Tina Campbell's husband Teddy is stabbed and Tina Campbell is in jail you know they wouldn't even you know address the fact that he cheated on her all we would have knew was that she stabbed him and he that she stabbed him and she went to jail you know and it's kind of like if she was an R&B singer or a rapper you know if she stabbed him or something it wouldn't really been that big of an issue but because they're in the gospel industry the Christian music community they kind of have to be very careful with what they say and how they act how they respond to certain situations because when you are when you name the name of Christ your life is in the spotlight people look at you differently than people who singing about sex and drugs and money and all that other stuff so you know so but you know and I'm constantly praying <clears throat> they're in my prayers because you know is 
I can honestly just when I watch the show can tell that it's not easy to just watch your life unfold and your life literally falling apart on national television like they said you know a lot of this stuff that they're going through it happened while they were recording it didn't happen before the show aired and they just decided well we're going to talk about this on the show a lot of this stuff that unfolded like with Teddy cheating with the different having different affairs and the daddy having stage for cancer all this stuff unfolded while they were recording so you know I'm constantly, you know, I'm just praying for them because, like I said, it's not easy, especially being a Christian. You have, Sometimes you do feel like wanting to run away and run and hide, but, you know, when you have a call on your life and you have a ministry, you know, you can't, you know, the thing that you're going through, you can't allow that to hinder your ministry and affect, you know, what you're trying to, con the message that you're trying to convey to the people. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Like I said, this wasn't seen by seeing you. I know I skipped a couple of things. I will say this. That when they when they, when Erica was doing that radio interview and the dude really wasn't interested in what they was doing as far as the upcoming projects, he was more concerned about why Tina wasn't there. Like I'm sure that's not the first time that they done did an interview where it was just one mayor. You, if you such a mayor mayor fan, you could have been you should have been able to just deal with the one Mary. But anyway, that's pretty much all I got in this episode. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all thought about this episode, and I will check you guys out on. Sunday for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Peace.